Yo, what's up, allies? So we're in the, the somewhat cluttered garage today because we're doing FBA scanning. Oh, my God. We're going to do a massive book haul, but before we get into that, we're going to talk about our status on Amazon. We've been on Amazon FBA for about three weeks now. What that means is Amazon had our products. Um, Amazon, we shipped them things. It was sitting, it was listed on the website. Anything that sold that was ours, we would get a cut of that. So what we did, you saw some of the videos already, we would source products for, through retail. We would then list them on Amazon. We would box them up and we'd ship them to the Amazon warehouse. At that point, then once they've collected it, it goes live. Once it goes live, you can see it on the Amazon search bar. And then once it starts selling, Bob's your uncle, we're making money. So, Leia, we've been what doing this. Bob's your uncle? Bob's your uncle. I know Bob's not your uncle. Your uncle's like Trung. I don't even have an Uncle Trung. Or, you know. You actually know my uncle's name. I know. Name. I, I didn't want to say their know? name. I wanted to use a Vietnamese name, though, without being all like, what up? So, Leia, we're three weeks in. How much money have we made? Uh, we have sold on Amazon $1,173.64. That's 44 items. Hey, what's up, little honeybee? Thanks for coming over to the Hosh Nasi website or channel. That's awesome. Uh, honeybee is also an Amazon affiliate. Oh, so, really? So we're up over $1,100 in three weeks of having products listed. Um, that's about 40 items. And then eBay. That's about $27 an item. Profit? No, that's. How much average oh when you divide yeah sure yeah. Um, and then we also have an eBay account because well we've had eBay accounts for a long time but um, when you have an Amazon FBA account what will often happen is particularly when it's new you're restricted on some things like you just can't sell Category, certain categories brand. like cosmetics grocery uh, brands like Nike like Disney like Star Wars you just can't sell this stuff so we use eBay and eBay we are at how much $376.34. Okay, very good. So that's our that's kind of our status okay. update. Well, also, also. So, um, so we know how much uh, Amazon is going to send us yes. after fees by, like, by the end of this month. Oh, okay. Nice. And that's $524.94. Right. So of our $1,100 revenue, um, or we're going to bring in an estimated five hundred dollars that'll be returned to us so when you and that's just so the products that, sold 44 products sold something like that so we will be getting nine hundred dollars back between um ebay and uh nice um, fba so um we haven't done the math completely on how much product we purchased and then obviously the revenue we just told you, but it's a pretty easy equation. We'll we'll put some numbers together. The problem is that you kind of your revenue numbers are always going to be like more than what you're getting back because Amazon isn't constantly cutting you a check, and it's like it takes a little while for them to crunch the numbers on what they're shipping or sending you back. So it's kind of always lagging. Anyway, that's our status update for revenue. Well, actually, yeah. Um, so down the pipe is. Two things. One, we realize that Two retail things. arbitrage, there's no way to scale it. So we're going to have to go wholesale. Yeah. And I've opened two wholesale accounts already, um, which also means that we are going to have to start uh, signing up with Amazon's um, tax program. Oh, yeah. They're going to start cutting us a check for the tax, and then we're going to have to turn around and send it to the board of equalization every mm, quarter interesting so what she's saying is and and we've kind of we, we've hit we've hit not a ceiling like we could do more sourcing but you know we both have jobs and we have two kids and we have other interests we make youtube videos and you get to a point where like you can only source so much in a given day and so what you need is if you can't make if you can't find a, a couple really good details <laughs> Actually, this is vodka. This is mostly vodka. No, I'm just kidding. It's just a little bit of vodka. Um, so FBA fulfilled by Amazon. That's what we're talking about. So 
you source products, you flip them on Amazon. Source product, flip them on Amazon, blah, 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 blah. Um, the problem is that, like, you can only spend so much time um, messing around sourcing products, you as your person. There's ways of speeding that up. If you go books like Reezy Resales and you got, you know, Bluetooth dongles, you can really hustle, right? And there's guys who their full-time gig is just hustling, sourcing, hustling, sourcing. I feel like maybe we don't have enough. Yeah, but we got a full time jobs. Yeah, that's full time gerbs. Like, full time gerbs. This is a hustle. side hustle. It's a full side hustle. So a full side hustle, we realized that to, to scale up we would need to source more or figure out how we get more products, maybe lowering our margin, but a lot more items. And that's where wholesaling comes in. Right? Right. Uh, a lot Good. of items at once. A lot of items at once. Okay. So I'm gonna turn the camera around. Um I'm Leia, have you synced to uh, are you synced up oh, for when I'm scanning? I have a pile of books. I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to turn it around. Here we go. So um, these are all the books that we've been sitting on that have not been scanned. Um, it goes all the way around here and then snakes down to what you saw. So I'm going to go sit in that chair right now, and we're going to, we're going to do too it live. Many books. Too many books. Probably too many books. And we're going to get a lot of duds. I can already kind of tell, but it's all right. It says I can't connect. Can you connect to this uh, scanner? Yeah. No. Oh, why? I don't know. Maybe you need to be receiving or something. Or Did you set it up? Yes, yeah, the KDC two hundred. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Oh. Is it on? Okay. Sorry about that. I don't know if it cut out or not. Um. Yeah. It's it's on. It's on right now. Okay. Well, try to scan something. Let's see if it. Okay. Thomas, oh, I'm gonna throw in this trash pile. Thomas, colorful friends. Here we go. No, that for sure it's not working. No, I know, but I'm scanning something. Yeah. Scanned it. You good? No. <clears throat> you really worked out the logistics on this one. Yeah. This is good. So it should just be in your list, and you can just connect to it. I'm sitting right here. It says I can't connect to it. I do have... Okay, let me try to forget it, and okay. then maybe that'll... I do have smallmouth bass and walleye, which I'm pretty excited about. I don't even know how... I can't even forget it. You know what, I'm just going to It says connecting. It says connecting? No, it just says connecting field. I can't even forget this device. You did something weird here, so. I can't scroll through it like I normally can. What is OBD BLV? Well, gosh darn it. This is really great content, guys. It's gonna really awesome. restart oh, there we go. Anyway, let's see. No, let me see if we started my phone now. I can, okay, I turned on pairing. Awesome, I'm restarting my phone. Oh, okay. Well, let's look at some of our books. Walleye. I bet Real that book's worth cash fish. money. You think so? I doubt it. It made these things about a million. <laughs> the books are really tough because most books they produced the absolute crap out of. Oh, is that Carolina Rig? Why don't we talk about this really difficult thing with the barcode situation? The barcode situation. Oh, is this a product here? <sighs> Leia bought a ton of these um, non-stick bakeware pan with holes, and it's a really high ranking in housewares. The problem is that the uh, UP or the not the UPC, what do you call that? The um, scanner barcode is right here and we're using an amazon barcode or did you not want to use we, manufacturer we have to use the amazon barcode because people sell that in bundles ah so okay. the moment that there is another product associated with the same SKU, they all have to get amazon barcode so what what happened is the the manufacturer used a suffocation bag which is really nice that means we don't have to spend our money to put a suffocation bag on it and they put this white label over the top of it but it's no, like i did that oh you did this Let's nice try. Yes. I know. It's, it's a good, it's a good college effort. The problem is, is like you can take this and you can kind of like rotate it 
like if you, I don't know, assume in shipping, something like that. And now all of a sudden you're off of the barcode. And in FBA, you have to have one barcode, the Amazon barcode, whether that's the manufacturer barcode or the barcode that they're slapping on. And um, after some kind of like horror stories, we decided that we were going to primarily stick to using um, the Amazon barcodes. That gives us not uniqueness, but it. it the horror story was that. Are you ready? Can we pair again? Pair it again, not pair it again. Um, anyway, it helps not getting screwed over by Amazon is one of the things that we, we think we know. We don't really know, but we're just going to do it. And we're probably going to end up getting one of those Dymo printers. Right now we're using uh, just the sheets, which is kind of a pain in the butt. But anyway. I have to unpair it. Now I'm trying, I'm trying to pair it now. Well, it's not pairing. Hold on. Okay, pairing started. Uh, so lots of Internet. respect to Leia because Leia's been busting her butt and, and adding items and adding them to the boxes and doing the whole thing. So still nothing? I'm trying again. I don't know, man. Still nothing? Seriously? I'm trying right now. I'm going to have to put it on my iPad then. Do this on the iPad. That's good then idea. I can show you the big screen. Okay, I'm That's gonna, a good idea. I'm going to come back over here really quick. Hey, from Canada. Hello, Canada. My uh, mother-in-law just came back from Canada. And, oop. Title said FBA stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there you go. <laughs> it's not water. No more sweet, sweet Nazi books. Um, you never know. So, my mother-in-law just came back from Canada, and how many times did they eat at Tim Hortons? Twice and I, and they tried to bring me back stuff from Tim Hortons. Yeah, uh, they bought a whole bag of food. They're even. big, big fans. And then big fans. By the time I got to my mom's house, the only thing that was left was a jalapeno cheddar bagel, a whole bag of food. Mm-hmm. Only a jalapeno. I cheddar bagel. so I misunderstood. I thought Tim Hortons was kind of like a McDonald's of Canada that also had donuts. I didn't know that they were in the bagel game. I didn't know any of this other stuff. I feel like they're probably more like a Dunkin' Donuts. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Dunkin' is kind of like an East Coast thing. Yeah, like Dunkin'. Like Dunkin'. 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 I, she was right saying Ontario, Dunkin'. Man. Like Dunkin', D-U-N-K-I-N. Dunkin' Donuts. Dunkin' Donuts is an East Coast thing. People are dropping off of the live chat because I'm talking about Dunkin' Donuts. Uh, it's more of an East Coast thing. It's not so popular. Hello, I love Duncan. Friends. Oh, nice. Okay, I will be right back. I need to get my iPad and uh, I guess more water. So, we'll be right back. Do you guys like how Hosh has decorated the garage with all of the hobbies that he does not do any longer? Like anime. Bicycling. I think there's some Star Trek stuff up there. Lord of the, I don't know if that's a hobby. <laughs> so unfinished. This is how like companies start guys in garages. Hey Casey. Oh, it totally just paired right now. Are you kidding? I'm not kidding. Oh my god. Maybe I just wanted to get rid of you for a little bit so that I could talk to everybody while you were gone. That's fine. I don't even like just. <laughs> I'll just leave. Oh, you're scanning these books. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Anyway, I brought my iPad. I was gonna load. We're using an app called. I'm well on the Mac side of the house. We're using an app called Celzy. Celzy, um, I think has a better interface, um, but. FBA scan is kind of like more well known in the FBA community, and that's what Leia's using. It's the Android. It burned me today, though. I went, one of my friends had a Sick burn. baby shop. Are you ready? Uh, sure. Okay, walleye. Here we go. Oh, there we go. Coming at you. you get it? Yeah, it's coming. Nice. Okay, so I'm that's scanning. A reject. I'm because scanning. Because of. So is that a Quayside Publishing Granny Squares Amulet Bag Kit? The fuck you say? That's a book called Walleye. 
That's not what it's coming off as. You wanna try scan it again? Yeah. Yeah, I do. So what happens um, when we scan books is the easy ones are the ones you scan instantly and they tell you to reject or keep, mainly they're all reject. No, you're going to have to toss that to the side. We throw it, so then what we end up doing is the ones that um, don't scan correctly, we put aside. So I'm going to put them over here. Um, I'm assuming this bass book is also going to have a problem. We're going to do that one now. Is that a bass? That's okay. What does this one say? Uh, Paragon Happy New Year Cross Stitch Sampler nope, Kit. Nope, not at all. Images of Our Time, 60 Years of Photography from the Los Angeles Times. This could be kind of cool. See, this is this is not yep. how Reezy does, does books. Yeah. <laughs> he, just, he doesn't get to like $650,000 in no. sale by looking through the books. Yeah, no. Well, this one doesn't have, uh, well, it probably does have an ISDN. Um, what happens is I mainly do the, 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 the heavy-duty scanning. I move through the tonnage, and I'll leave the ones that can't be scanned for Leia, so I have to slide that one over here. Oh, so the, so the burn story is today, um, one of my friends, she owns, like, a, a crunchy mama, um, like, granola mom kind of uh, baby right shop. And Solomon Rushdie. Fuck this guy. Um, uh, the ground beneath her feet? Yeah. Yeah, that's a no. Yeah. Fiction's usually garbage. You can usually just assume <coughs> it's going to be bad. And so she went through most of her inventory it's, it's selling F. it at 30% off, and I contacted her asking her if I could just buy out her stock. Yeah. And she said, yeah, we could do it at 75% or something like that. American Lit. I went in and I scanned a good amount of stuff. A goodly um, amount? Yeah. And one of the one of the categories I scanned was maternity nursing bras. Mm -hmm. And it accounted for like sixty to seventy five percent of what I bought from her. Okay. And FBA scan was like, this is great, massive profit. Massive profit. And then when I came home and I went to go list them to ship, mm -hmm. they were all restricted. So they gotta go on eBay now. Yeah. Okay. American Lit. No bueno. Anthology American Lit. You got it? Uh, it's to reject. Yeah, of course it is. Reject, anyway. Okay. H.G. Wells, The War of the Worlds. This is a... It's going to be a reject. There's too many of these. Reject, right? Reject. Poetry Review. Reject. That's not found. Not found. Oh, it's not found. So when it's not found, you, you throw it in the other pile. This is Free Lunch number 31, which is a young kid... What is this? I don't know what this is. This is like a family's books? Is that... Yeah, we picked these saying? up from a family that was just giving books away. My Life and Hard Times. Here we go. James Thurber. Uh, that is a reject. Okay. Though, interestingly... Wrapping with 10,000 caribous in the dark. Almost everything that you poems. scanned has been a reject based off of ranking and not profit. They're, they're all, like, profitable books. Oh, okay. So that's a lot of how this stuff works is um, it comes down to ranking. Or it comes down to, like, there's just a crap load of them on the Internet. Here's the other pile you get um, where there's a tag. So we, we put all the tags aside in, an, in a, another pile. We'll work on the tags later. because Casey it, it said, I don't long. know what to prepare for. World War Three or Civil War 2.0? I think we need to prepare for a uh, best Korea. But we already live in Little Korea. No, no, We're best fun. Korea. Is, it's good. There's an internet, like the internet meme is North Korea is best Korea. Best Korea. That's sure. the joke. That's the joke. Zyziva. Zai is that how you pronounce this? Zyziva? That's like Zizik Road. Zyzix. It's pronounced Zyzix, by the way. Whatever. Okay, here we go. So, um, I... Got it? I actually... You got this? Is it coming in? It's not huh? found. Huh? No. Another one. Emily, this is no way. No way. Emily Dickinson, no way. So, I guess there's this Whoa. Vietnamese family in Garden Grove who um, was, like, one of the top 100 booksellers in Amazon. Yeah. No? That's a reject. Okay, here we go. Did she sit around doing like witty repartee? That's about a buy. Books? Is it seven dollar and fifty three cent profit? 
We paid nothing for this. That's so all a these good boxes. Condition book, nothing. Yeah. No, this is garbage. It's water damaged. Oh bummer. Here. Oh, well, uh, the life of Emily Dickinson. Bad, it's still a dollar. Big, big. All right, here we go. That is a buy at twelve eighty nine. Yeah. Here you go. This is not bad condition either. It's not. Thank you. Good night. Here we go. I think whoever we took these boxes from had a, a literature. Not found. A literature um, class they were taking. Because a lot of these books are poetry books and like American lit. Mm -hmm. Margaret Oliphant. Coming at you. Someone posted a sign on Facebook. Just, it was LA. Said, why can't we all get along like they do in Canada? <laughs> That's a reject. Bye-bye. Casey this? said... This is nice. Okay, whoever did this... Like, good, what's the good guy meme? The, the really, like, the good guy meme? Like, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. So. It's the opposite of douchebag Steve. Douchebag, yeah, the opposite of douchebag Steve. Look at what they did. Yeah, I love that. So, That's so nice. we don't have to bother scraping off the tag. It's still got the ISDN on there. You just go, bam, hit it. And we know if it's a reject or not. Because it's like 5% of books you actually keep, maybe less. Is, is North Korea really, a, like, a nuclear power? They have nuclear weapons. Their problem is the distribution of said nuclear right. weapons. Right. Ontario um, Man said the North Korea situation will likely pass over. Yeah. They are. They already are a nuclear power. Trump was like, he shut down Kim Jong. That's a reject. Good. Yeah. Thank you. Um, Casey Rogers says, "I friend who lives in Canada is probably just as racist, if not more, than the average American." Yeah. Racism's yeah. everywhere. Yeah. Oh, here you go. Not in Canada. They have Tim Hortons. I wrote you a poem. Old man, you made a sport of scuba diving into bottles of whiskey. You became the Jacques Cousteau of the aquatic wine Olympics until your life was cut short by the bends. Jesus, man. Uh, this thing got a sticker. It's uh, from Cal State University Long Beach. So there's a chance. This was fourteen ninety five. There's a chance that this could still have residual value because it's a uh, prep book. Uh-oh, Edison's crying. I'm going to give you my phone. Okay. Is it going to stay? Yeah. All right. Oh, this is a watercolor picture of a naked white woman with a black man. And it's the Ambit 174. I don't know what that's about. How do I read this? Reject. Bird by bird. Great. Just great. That is a reject. So, um, I'll show you the image of the screen I'm looking at. Hopefully that comes in. This tells you what the profit margin is, um, and then what they're listing for. FBA is listed at 944, so you can, it'll, it'll tell you on the top whether you should accept or reject it though, which that makes it nice. I don't know what that is. A lot of these are like weird kind of like... It's kind of weird. These are like poetry pamphlets that looks like they get mailed to the house of the person. So they're really into, uh, into poetry, I guess. This thing's beat. Music in science. All right. Uh, sparrows don't sing in the Philippines. Got a sticker on it. The Celestine of Prophecy. Reject. In the palm of your hand, a poet's portable workshop. Why does a poem need a workshop? What does it even mean? Okay. Park Quest. Looks like another one of these wild pamphlets. Staple Gun is another pamphlet. Shakespeare, Mid Midsummer Night's Dream. It's a little beat. It's got some yellow paging. 
Of course. There's no way that's going to be worth anything. Po Poems for the Nation from Alan, edited by Alan Ginsberg. Okay. Planet. Heartbreak House. George. There's a, like, a lot of these books are, like, hardcore authors, though. These are all authors that I, I recognize. Reverb. A lot of pamphlets. This one's actually got an ISDN. And looks like it's got some other junk shoved into it. The Wild Iris. Reject. Bye-bye. Rhymes and Reason. Reject. Puerto de Sol. Reject. A Literature of Their Own. British Women Novelists from Bront to Lessing. Reject. The House of the Spirits. Reject. That's actually negative money if you try and sell that bad boy. Uh, Salvador Dali, though. This could be kind of cool. No? Negative $2.50 if we tried to sell it. Meaning that the cost to bring to market, bring to Amazon, would be more than the book was worth um, when we were paid out. Well, snap. Well, it looks like there's some directions here. Okay, they were going to, uh, oh. They were going to El Torito. Those are some directions they left in there. That's nice. No, another. Washington Square. There's no way this is worth anything. Oh, not found. I don't know what that is. The Hemingway Review. Naked Lunch. This is a thing. This is a real thing. That is a real book by a real good author. These are some actually like really good books that we're moving through. Salt Hill. That is not this is what I want. Poetry. 375. Reject. On Conrad's Heart of Darkness and the Secret Sharer. Got a sticker on it. The New Book of Forms. Yeah, this person was a poetry major. Could you imagine being a poetry major? I don't know how I feel about that. Actually, I'm pretty sure I exactly know how I feel about that. Not good. The Wretched of the Earth. Down these mean streets. Pablo Neruda, The Captain's Verses of Love Poems. That's for me. I wrote that. The Captain's Verses. Not found. Plowshares. This has got to be worthless. A lot of not founds, which I'm, I'm not really surprised because the books are really weird. Reject. Okay, I'm at the point now where I'm going to write, like, take those books and put them back in. And whomever, um, there's actually a way you're supposed to put books in boxes. You're supposed to put books in boxes with the spine facing the middle of the box. Chuck D. Huh, I wonder if I should save this for Darren. I'm going to save that for Darren.
Rosebud. Claimed to be too much mojo. Not correct. Oh, you'll. Okay, so this stuff needs to move. And generally, if you if you do this, if you line them up spine to spine, you seem to get more books in the box first of all, and uh, then when you need to get rid of them. Um, particularly shipping, if you care about the books, if you're trying to make money off of them, like those two that we found so far, uh, then you wanna you wanna try and ship them as in the best way possible so that you get your money out. All right. So now I've got a box that I can put my my leavings in. I'm going to start just working my way through. Whoa. Okay. The road. That one doesn't have, has a sticker on it. Indiana Review. Not found. I'm going to need a box soon for this pile that I'm building up over here. Far Tortuga. ISDN, no scan. Meaning it's probably an older book. Mark Twain, The Adventures of Huck Finn. Tons of stickers on it. Reject. Excellent. I'd rather, honestly, just say reject than make us go through the process of, like, searching for it. Which, these are doing that, so that's good. Plus, I find it interesting that whomever had all these books... Probably, oh, Chronicles of Narnia. I know that Chronicles of Narnia is not going to be worth anything because there's too damn many of them. And this is what you do. You source books, scan books, put books in boxes, drop the books you don't want off at the Goodwill, let them sell those books. I suggest that Wherever you source your books, um, you don't take those. <laughs> you don't take all your leavings and go back to the places that you actively search for books. Like you go out of town with a truck full of the books you don't want, and then you drop them off um, at a place that you're not going to go to, and that'll be your dumping hole. Student dictionary. This thing is beat. I'm going to say this is worthless. Kite runner, worthless. Too many. Negative fifteen cents. This had a one dollar off smoothie coupon. Keeping that for sure. Hoping to get to the bottom of this box, and I can move all the box, uh, the books we need to search for manually and remove stickers from um, into here, so I can keep going. Oh, wait, what's this? No, never mind. Long shot on 9/11. Don't know what this is. Not searchable. Looks like some beatnik ass stuff. Nothing wrong with that. Though. Cold snap. The Coast of the Utopia. I know this is like some serious books. Like, if I actually had any interest in reading, um, these would be amazing books to hang on to. Because a lot of these are very prolific authors that I know by name because, oh, 
a brief history of time, I might keep this one. I'm gonna put this away, away, away. Crap. Put it over there for now. This one wasn't even opened. Winston's War, Novel of Conspiracy. Reject. If it was very popular at like Amazon, or not Amazon, but Barnes & Noble, or what was that other one? Um, Borders, you can pretty much guess that it's not gonna be worth much. Because that means they had a crap load. Or one butt load. B U T T E, but. Which is a whole lot of wine. One buttload. Uh oh, Nietzsche. You got Nietzsche. You're done, Nietzsche. How's that for materialism? I like capitalism now, Nietzsche. The Centipath? Oh my god. We got a Che Guevara book. Guerrilla Warfare with Che Guevara. I feel like I just escaped. Why we go to zoos. got a whole lot of nothing since you've been gone. Really? Yep. So what you're saying is I'm the good luck charm. Sure. Do you want to come scan? No. Oh. No. Maybe you're not the good luck charm. My battery just died. This thing ran into the batteries. Alright. Why don't you plug it in? Because I took the plug. Here. Here's your phone back. Um. Can you plug this into that? Oh my gosh. The baby monitor? We're going to try this right now? We're just so far away from the bedroom. I know. I'll be right back. Let's see how we're doing here. Casey would like the Che Guevara book. It's yours, man. Um, yeah. So 70K subs, everybody is sleeping. <laughs> 17K. The I'm on the West Coast, so most of the people that are watching are West Coast people or just, you know, people who like to stay up late. Um, we sourced all these books for free off of Craigslist. Did you get them off Craigslist? Is that where you got them? You gonna answer me? Um, from multiple places? Yeah. Yeah, I thought that was funny. I was like, we gotta definitely do the, uh, the stream because I've got a real gas and flag on. No, the FBA app we're using is a third party. It's called FBA Scan. Um, what I'm using is called uh, Cell Z, S E L L Z E E, all one word. And that's on iOS. FBA Scan is on both. Okay, there we go. I'm all caught up on the chat. I'm going to, I'm, Leia, you're good. I'm going to go get my cable. I'll be right back. What's this box out here for? That's another box. Oh, that's um, the tape that I was going to use to tape. maximize the workflow. Hey, East Coast. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Did you hey. hear that? He said tape. Hey, Torgo Max. Tape. The oh, words. you're you're shining the. Can you move the? The barcode scanner is actually shining that in my face. The real big one. Oh my god. How did that even happen? That bird thing was there before I even came out here. What in the hell? So, anyways, Manos Hands of Fate used to be yes. the worst movie. No, well... But now it's the room. So we're going to let my scanner charge a little bit. The, um... 
Well, I really got to say, like, I don't think I could sit and watch Man with the Hands of Fate without the commentary of, I think it was Joel, Joel and the Bots. Stack of books. I'm gonna scan. Uh, okay. Well, oh, here's some. Rather than sit. Here's some. Nice. You want to move a box over there for you? Next to you? Sure. Okay. Reject. Where's your reject box? Uh, hold on. Uh. Here, we have it. I said let me have it. Where is it? This one? No, it's that one. Ugh. There's so many freaking stickers on this thing. Where's the where's the for peeling box? Uh, I don't have a box yet. I'm just gonna stack them over here. Ooh, image grammar. It really is appealing. Ha 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 ha. Uh, in the background here is my metal detector, metal detectors, prospecting gear. This is Baby actually stuff. a little bit like prospecting. It I is. Feel. It is. Um, you now feel the way I feel when I'm out on the hunt. Live stream offline is what happened. What the hell was that about? Nah. YouTube tried to... I don't know. It's back now, right? Can you see me? Uh, it is... Oh, I'm at 10% power here. Hold on. Uh, oh, come on! Don't show my Pokemon egg. It is 70 degrees outside. And, uh... What's going on? 70 degrees outside, and we are in the garage. And it's probably warmer than that. It's probably close to 80. I don't think so. Well, who asked you? No one has. I'm going to also try and fix my, uh... I'm getting a very bad connection message, so. I'm gonna try and use my iPad. The, whoever owned these books had a lot of Salman Rushdie books. I know. This is, you can really tell a lot about a person by what's in their book collection. Can you guys still see me okay? I'm wondering if it's because of my Wi-Fi. Oh, thank you. I don't know what's going on. So I, I've got, um, in the garage, I have an Airport Express, which is a Wi-Fi. Um, are these get rid of books? Okay. Which, oh my God, had I been doing this when that um, Radio Shack was going out of business, remember that when I was in doing the vlog? There were so many items that I could have just been killing it on. Killing it. Killing it. Like, this tiny it book. Been killing Look, people. This tiny book that's called Crush. Yeah. That's a $7 profit. $7 profit, guys. Look at this tiny little thing. Look at it. It's just like a little pamphlet. Here you go. Oh, so you know, I contacted. Um, I'm using FBA scan. And yes. FBA scan used to, when you would scan something that was brand restricted, you would be able to tap the restricted bar and it would tell you what you were restricted from, whether it was the category or if it was the brand or okay, whatever. Okay, nice. Which is relevant because at some point you can unlock categories. You can never unlock brands. Alo hey, what's up, Hawaii Volcano Squad? Aloha. I, I've got, oh, man, a bunch of people from work. Well, one person from work is going to Hawaii for two weeks. Next week, I'm very jealous. Anyway, so it out of nowhere, Love a Hawaii. couple of weeks ago, started stopped doing that. Yeah, they, like there was a um, an app update. Uh huh. And it stopped doing that. And when you hit the restricted bar, it basically tells you what the triggers are, which is worthless to me. I'm triggered. And I contacted them, and and they didn't respond. And then I tried contacting them again, and then they go, oh, you sent this email to an address that we don't check anymore. <laughs> it was their help address on their website. It's like, what in the F are you talking about? And then hey, I asked, and then they look up my account and they look up what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, that we no longer support that feature. You're gonna have to use the Amazon app for that. 
That and it's sucks. Like, well, What's what the f? Why do I have to switch between two different apps? That's I know. ridiculous. I want to. It's so. What's probably I happened want to move is Celzy. If Celzy gives you that information. So what happened? Oh, I don't know that it does. Um, what happens is I think Amazon probably removed the capability. I needed to see what's going on with my uh, my Wi-Fi out here. Wi-Fi. Um, stream may pause for one second. I hope it doesn't. I think I can do this without. So here, hold on. Hold on. Oh, oh it God. paused. Sorry about that. Sorry our about friend, that. Our friend Leilani is in Hawaii right now. Yeah. My iPad's all screwed up. I'm trying to use my apps to fix my uh, my Wi-Fi, but that's not working. Does anybody want to Wi-Fi our friend Leilani? <laughs> well, you know work though. Poetry magazine. Yay, poetry. Hey, what's up, all 16 of you that are watching? Thanks. Yes. Uh, there is super a. Soaker. No, it's not. This, no, that's not an old school super. That's not an old school super soaker. That is a remake of the old school super soaker. I'm not going to go get it now that I see what's in between me and that thing. Yeah, so I had the original super soaker. So the only EDC I have on me right now is my. Uh, my uh, Ruger LCP with a Laser Max oh, laser on it. It's the Holy Bible, the new international version. Um, In giant these print. are. Shoot, I don't remember what bullets I got in these. Um, I use the DeSantis G5, which is specifically designed for the LCP with the Laser Max on it. Very nice. Great little pocket um, holster. I always carry my Spyderco Delico Waved pocket knife. It is my always go-to pocket knife. I usually have a Maritac Copper CR123 LED uh, light, a chapstick tube, and I'll, I took all my stuff out of my pockets when I started when I went on a walk, aside from my gun and my pepper spray and a knife that's in the stroller. Because I like to keep pepper spray and a knife in the stroller just in case Leia and the kids got to get get dirty. What? What do I think? This CD of worldwide telephone numbers? Yeah, I would love to carry a Glock 43, but they're not legal oh in California. God, this book doesn't even have an Possibly isbin. yet. Look at this book. An Isbin? What's an Isbin? Is that a province in London or outside of London? It's Isbin. Leah, you mean an ISDN? An is what, what does it matter? I'll just, I'm just going to hold this up. No, Emerson, go back to sleep. Who wants this book? Anybody Mom's want this? Does anybody want this book? You want this? Anybody want this? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> I'm waiting in the chat. Yeah, I would totally carry a Glock 43, though. Um, but like I said, it's not on the California Safe and Sane... Uh, no, no, it doesn't. Um, what I'm saying is that there are some parts of California that are completely ridiculous. Like Los Angeles County. They have a handgun roster. Um, the handgun roster is set up by the California DOJ, and what they do is all handguns that companies that want to sell in California <laughs> has to send... Hawaii volcano going, I'll pay you not to send it to me. That's what we're going to do. We're going to threaten people with sending them. Books. Yes, I like it. <laughs> um, so they, they take any firearm that wants to be sold in California, and they put them through a series of tests. Um, for example, there's a f they have to hold it. A human being has to hold it and fire 500 rounds through it in one sitting and have no misfires, no failure to feed, no um, anomaly of any kind. Now, uh, the coelacanth, right? The coelacanth? 
Coelacant, Coelacant, Coelacant is a fish, a sea, sea camp, sea camp, uh, sea camp 32, <laughs> sea camp 380, <laughs> an amazingly cool. nice handgun, really, really nice, all metal construction, very small, smaller than my, um, LCP, that gun to fire 500 rounds, so it would be tough for any person to do, and so <laughs> it's not technically California legal to sell, although it's, it's as safe as any handgun you can buy, well, so it's stupid. let me show you my rented Lamborghini. Oh, I haven't known my Bernie Sanders impression for a long time. What um, what should I say in Bernie Sanders speak? What are you doing? No, I haven't. That's not right. What are you doing? What, what are you gonna do with all those books, taxpayer? I'm taxpayer, ta back. taxpayer. Hey, I don't. I haven't done it so long. Oh, dude, we love Paso Robles. Mm. So I say Paso Robles. Is it Paso Robles? It can't be. Pretty sure it's Paso Robles. You just said Paso Robles. I did. Paso, Paso Robles. Robles. That's one of those. It's one of those um, Spanish words that we have like made really, really white um, in our pronunciation of it. Like Santa Gertrudes, Gertrudes, Gertrudes is a street. It's like salsa, man. Les Robles. It's Robles. Paso Robles. God damn it. Yeah. Thank you. It's Paso You're Robles. You're welcome. These are rejects. Don't side with her just for siding with her, by the way. He's siding with me because he knows I'm I'll right. kick you right out of here, taxpayer. We're getting closer. <laughs> We're getting closer. <laughs> Bernie Sanders loves taxpayers, okay? Yep, well. Somebody's got to foot the bill. <laughs> somebody's got to be responsible for all these kids. <laughs> taxpayer. Now, it used to be way better. I don't know why I can't do it right now. I think I need to hear him. Wait, Paso, Ro Paso Robles? How far is Paso Robles from Solvang? It's right there, right? Oh, it's like two hours away. What? Yeah. What are you talking about? It's up by uh, Phil? Uh, it's more north than... It's like six hours from us, whereas Solvang is uh, three. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the millionaires and billionaires yes, Jeff Horton. to be responsible see you. to be responsible for all these children. I can't do it. It's just not... We're gonna, we're gonna I used to do it really... I and Go back in the vlog. There was a couple of vlogs where I was doing Bernie Sanders impersonations pretty hard. Because I, I think I just kept hearing him. He's got that crazy New England accent mixed with just this... Actually, I know a guy um, up there, one of the partners in one of the LLCs um, oh. to, my, to my work, um, lives out in Paso Robles, and he has got an aviary, which is... What a bastard. We're going to tax him for that aviary, taxpayers. Yeah, Leos don't have to follow handgun rosters. They don't have to follow magazine restrictions. Uh, magazine restrictions that include tubular magazines and detachable magazines. Internal mags, doesn't matter. They can have anything they want. Anything they want. That I believe they can even have uh, judges, tourist judges or um, governors. Which are illegal in California. <clears throat> Okay, well, oh, here's some I of the books. If, um, the Pilot Star. If Olivia's husband gets access to that. Lowest yeah. Wax. Yeah, he's he's ICE. Of course he can. That's a law enforcement officer. A portrait of an... Oh, not an autist. An artist as a young man. I thought that says an autist. Uh, scan. Vermont is VT, right? Yeah. Okay, I was going to say, Virginia has pretty good... Gun laws. I see V and I automatically think Ooh, of Virginia. Oh, the elements of storytelling. Oh. I think you need this, actually. Why? Because then you can tell better stories. Oh. I don't mean that in an offensive way. Dude! I got somebody's stub in here. Pay stub. That's no boy now. How old is I've got his social security number! Hey! You guys like some fraud? What do you guys feel about fraud? Shred it, please. This guy worked 40 hours in 2001, 2001, at $7.50, and he made $300. That sucks. That was my first, uh, that's how much I made. 
but and my when first was job. This? When is that? Two thousand one. Two thousand one. I was working in two thousand. Get some Dr. Seuss books. We have so many kids books back here. Is it ten o'clock? It's only ten o'clock, man. We need a sourcicle. That's not right either. This says the I want to like listen to some Bernie Sanders right now. I I can only do impersonations. Oh my gosh, you have um, to look in this book. Damn. My uh, first job was 750, but that's California 750, and that was in the, the early 90s. Ooh, the living human curiosity sideshow. What the hell is this? What is this? Is this like a god thing? The Living Human Curiosity Sideshow. I would like to say thank you to everybody at Definitive Jux Records for supporting me for over nine years. It is an honor to work with all of you. Like, there's literally like a skull and a naked woman. Very bad connection again. Sorry about that. Oh, there's a CD in here. It's for Deep Cover. What's Deep Cover? I don't know. It's deep undercover. The taxpayers are getting away with it. Their, they're not paying their taxes. Oh, okay, now I'm mixing a little bit of the, the prospector with the Bernie Sanders noise. I think this is, is this the book for the What's album? Deep cover is a hip-hop album. Sure it is. Sure okay. it is. You can take this box away. Okay, good. So that's going to be, so this box is going to become our uh, box of things that need to have labels removed. Great. Okay. Sorry about the very bad connection. You guys still see me all right? Yeah, seven fifty was the More minimum wage. Oh, what are these? These are the those are the moving need to labels. Be peeled. They need to be peeled. Okay. Um, if wants there is an egg crate underneath the table. Yeah, there's an egg crate books. underneath the table. Pull it out. Okay, what about these Josh's room books? Does anybody yeah. want to see Josh's room of, of books? We're going to learn some things about you right now. Um, oh, so they may want to send me back to Colorado. Shut up. <laughs> Maybe I'm going to Colorado. Yes, Better Call Saul is awesome. Yeah. We watch it actually on Netflix, so we're a whole season behind you if you're about to give us spoilers. Yeah, don't spoil us. Um, we are, so we don't have cable. We haven't had cable for a very, very long time. Been watching your channel on radio. I can't get Chirp to work. So, okay, we can run through the troubleshooting of Chirp really quickly. If you uh, plug your radio in, and you go to the download from radio, and you don't see the USB cable under the port, um, most likely, I'll make an assumption that you did not buy the cable I recommended in the videos. I recommend one specific cable and only one cable. And so if you don't have that cable, I can't trust anything that happens because the cables, what they're doing in that little dongle piece that goes in the USB, it's converting USB, which is a digital signal, to an analog signal. And there's a, there's a serial, uh, don't yeah. use prolific cables, get FTD. FTD. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Um, the prolific cables are knockoff. Yeah, I, I don't know. If, if you didn't buy the link that are off of that is off of my videos, in my is videos, the description. Book? Yeah. Oh my God, is it worth money? Yeah, hell yeah it is. This is one of my books right here. Check that out. Wiccan? Huh? I, I think I read maybe a chapter of this. And then I was like, why did I buy this book? This is back before I could became an atheist. Um, yes, you. Uh, if you'd like, you can go to one of my videos and here. And okay, I'm just going to hand these to you because this is actually your book. These are all my books. And if you want to keep anything from it, then keep it. This is, I use this in a, a presentation. Oh, these are like your childhood Yeah, these are books. child books. These are old books. I so use this in a. you hold on to some of them for the For kids. Ben, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Can this ends a, on, uh, where is this end? Bush. Bush Sr. Can you get me a, a, a bin for kids' books? That like a trash bin? Kids? Like a trash bin? No, like I'm, I found a bunch of books that I want to keep for the kids, so. 
I don't have a bin. Um. I got a box. I can fold up a box for you. There's a whole bunch of bins. Right oh, there. oh. Wow, we do have a whole bunch of bins. Dinosaurs! Dinosaurs! I didn't like this book. I remember this book when I was a kid. Did not like that book. I never put this in the kids' bin. Is this a. Uh, this is not me. Or what's this? this is not me. I know, that's not you. I don't know anything about that book. I think it came out of a record thing. Alright, did I miss? What did I miss in the chat? Um, okay, so sorry, Jeff, let me go back to this. So the, um, the cable, you have to use the. Uh, yeah, give me that. You have to use the USB to serial, like. Uh, the, the chip that does the work, the Chinese people, they rip it off. And what they do is they make a counterfeit and then they ship you a CD. And if your computer isn't perfectly set up to accept that CD and run that driver for that particular copy bullshit chip, it won't work. It won't work. So if you use a Mac or you use Linux or anything like that, like I do, you can't use that crap. You have to use the authentic one. So if you go to my videos, go to the links to the A store, or go to the link to the, the, the cable. The the legit cable is twenty bucks though, so one of your mom's hairs is in that. So here's one of my books. Back when she had long I was a kid. Uh yeah, yeah. The prolific cables are way more expensive. But they're plug and play. So this I I thought this book was different when I was a kid. I thought this is one of those books where like you're supposed to look around and find secret things. I was really excited to get it and it wasn't what I thought. Sign of the seahorse. I have a request. I was addicted to this game. I almost this is one of my first circuses that I went to. This I one. Like this that in is a right uh, leopard guy. Huh? EverQuest CD, The Shadows of Lucklin. That's I when they open up the moon. Too. Did everybody have this book? I'm going to scan this and then I'll let you. Show of comments. Who else also had this book as a child? I got this book about an old rapist. An old rapist. You're gonna keep the Columbus book? I don't know. Who cares? A the children's book of questions and answers. Do you really? I was so addicted to that game in college. There's a free server oh. that you can play. There's a free server. It's completely free. You can log in and you can play a request for free. For free. I love that your mom kept these books because my mom didn't keep any of them. Uh, 366 two minute bedtime stories and rhymes. This is how you can. Yes, the robot vacuum, the, the, the Roomba? Yeah. Uh, we bought the, the expensive one. The uh, cheap one, the cheap one is not worth the, the money. Um, the expensive one, though, is, is really good because you can schedule the it. The way things really work and how they actually happen. Look at that. This is a good one. This is what made me all like cynical. Life science lab experiments in twelve major sciences. I don't know what Skillcraft is. It looks like it's a manual for something. Skillcraft. Same, but the same people that brought you to Skill Saw. The, oh, this the was a uh, chemistry set I had. Oh, I have amazing. so many way things work books. I have so many. Hey, you know so what? many. I loved this damn book. This book was one of my favorite things. As a kid. I really was kind of a sciencey kid right from the beginning. Oh, man. Uncle Fred and Aunt Ree. This is the same people that gave us that uh, rice cooker that I destroyed. Yeah. $300 rice cooker down the drain. Yeah, down the drain. And you decided to sit on it. No, I dropped the ladder on it. I'm going to show you this book. Yeah. Because somebody has it listed on FBA for $65. Yeah, because there's no remote. If you had the remote, it'd be worth a lot. There's no remote. The Beavis and Butthead book. I think my dad bought me this. My dad is a big, huge fan of Beavis and Butthead. I want pizza. And so you could you can play the remote had all these like songs. You could play the buttons and it would play the the intro song, all kinds of stuff from the, from the. Uh... Oh, eyewitness books. Oh, I have so many eyewitness books. These are the ones I thought you were talking about. Rocks and Minerals was my my first one. I, again, dude, I guess I was, I've always been like a super nerd, huh? There's like no way really around that. This is music. Rocks and Minerals did was good. Did you pick these books or did your mom pick them? Oh, I picked these. Everything I picked. That Aside from maybe a couple. Music. I also had eyewitness books, so. Did you have the books I have? You're not all great, so 
by yourself. Sports. Yeah, I had rocks and minerals. Oh my gosh, what if you had a whole collection? Look at how many eyewitness books there are. I didn't have a whole collection. Arms and armor. Yeah, I know. Did I really wanted that. that. Did you have I, it? I don't think I do. I don't think my mom wanted me to have that. I was already kind of weirdly. Car. <laughs> it just says car. <laughs> Invention. What do you think that's about, Leah? <laughs> it's very it's, it's very confusing. It's about a car. Yeah, okay. seriously. These this book. Even, these aren't even found. Oh, Ancient yet. Rome. This is a good one. This one was really good. I really enjoyed this one. I'm feeling pretty strongly that you went through a Wiccan phase since this is like the second Wiccan book I found. Revealing It was right when we started that. dating. It's kind of weird. Where's the Egypt book? <laughs> Could you... Oh, that's good. You know what's funny? In I don't think I ever read this one either. In high school, I also looked at like Wicca stuff. This... I think it's a phase that a lot of people go through, actually. Because you know what it was? I blame, I blame the uh, Coast movie? to Coast AM. Oh. Listening to all that, that stuff. You had the Giving Tree. Oh, yeah. I have the Giving Tree. We got another copy of that now? Yeah. We're going to keep your copy because my brother broke up with the girl who gave Ben their, that copy. I don't care. Nobody cares. I care. Because why are we going to keep multiple copies of a book that's about taking advantage of people? That's what that book's about. Yeah, the remote's legit. Uh, haunted Houses. I was big into ghosts. Uh, these were like riddles. I killed these guys. No problem. Your oh, are we get rid of these, Your right? dad actually still likes um, Beavis and Butthead. Oh, he loves Beavis and Butthead. An original Giving Tree by yes. Shel Silverstein. Give it to your dad. Give it to your dad. Let's see. No, it's vodka and LaCroix. This is actually kind of cute. <clears throat> oh, my book about me. Is actually like has details about me. Nice, Peter. Thanks. I also loved Encyclopedia Britannica. How good are you at trivia now? The name? town I live in is town. I wrote okay. that. What? You see if you want any of those. Oh play. snap! Fun with the harmonica. Yeah, I want that. Uh, saxophone book. When I used to play the saxophone. I don't want the saxophone books. I don't play the saxophone anymore. But I do want the harmonica book. Let me see. Hold on. Ruth. Oh, I can kill these ones. Peter, come to town. Let's go to pub quiz. What? Really? Oh, good. Okay. Yeah, we're we're pretty good at trivia. We do that, uh, the buzz time trivia when we go to Buffalo Wild Wings. And I can generally be in the top ten in the nation when I play. Generally. Not on all the games, but just on uh, Cerritos, California. Yes. That's where we live. Oh, yeah. Anflux was, Anflux was weird. Uh, liquid television in general is really weird. Okay, now begins the parade of Calvin and Hobbes books. Nice. Something Under the Bed is Drooling. Is not that good. This is lazy. Nope. Do this you, one's like one of the best ones. Do you so love good. Calvin and Hobbes enough to want to share it with the kids. Yeah, when they get older. Oh no, they're for the kids. We're saving some of them for the kids. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> this is the oh. first Calvin and Hobbes. Calvin. It's just titled Calvin and Hobbes. So um, I'm putting a, a bin. These are all my old books we're talking about right now. And some of them we're keeping. And a lot of... Uh, Revenge the Babysat is all right. I haven't read all of Microsoft and Carta, but I have changed my fair share of Wikipedia entries. <laughs> oh, man. This is my Boy Scouts of America card. Yikes. Uh, this is a really good one. Weirdos from Another Planet is really good. Oh, that is The Far Side. I need more books than I can unlock. Wiener Dog Art. 
Okay. I, I, got... the, uh, I like the parts that I found. Oh, okay. Here's a good one. Oh, oh. I got a whole. That's. Yes. Okay. Now you're getting into the I'm good stuff. Okay, here, here, here. Them. Do you want me to scan them just to see if there's value? Don't or... scan the Calvin Hobbs. I'm keeping all those. I there's know, no way I'm getting rid of those. You're I know, but what if, it, what if you I scan You bitch. Give me those, those damn books. Huh? Let's just find out how much they're worth, okay? So far, nothing. I know, because there's tons of them. Uh, so I made it to Life Scout, and that's about the time I realized that I was an atheist. So I um, I completed my Eagle Project. I did all the merit badges. I did everything. And I got to the point where they were really hounding me to say that there is a higher power. And I said, I don't believe in that. And they're like, okay, well, peace. This and that's your, it. So I, 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 I'm an atheist box? eagle. I just want to be clear. This is your kid book box? This is a kid book box. This is your kid book box. Though. It's... One of them, why? You were really into this as a kid? No, that, um, you gave me that. That was I like did? our one of our first dates, I think. Really? Yeah. I don't feel like this makes sense. You bought me a bunch of cigars on our first date. Not on our first date? Like the second. No way. When we met at BJ's, you gave me this book. No way. I'm pretty sure. No, nope. You gave me something at BJ's. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> you said I did there? I said I did. <laughs> not true uh no but i have been to las cruces new mexico if you can figure out why i had to go to las cruces you get major points it was the hatch chili guys yep okay do you think that the kids would like this i guess so i keep this because we're doing the disney thing again i guess Great birding in the Great Lakes. This is gonna be. Oh yeah, that's a that's a money maker right there. Yeah, what is just straight comic books? The DC superhero girl sampler. Sampler. Nope. No. no. Nobody's birding in the Great Lakes anymore. Nobody's birding. No. How about this atlas? This has gotta be real valuable, right? So there's a Sam's Club Atlas. I always forget about there's an island before they discovered the uh, the new the quote unquote new world um, that these two brothers made up, and I always a friend of mine is really into old atlases. <laughs> Ew, the DC superhero girl scratch and sniff. This one smells like Teen Spirit. What is this? Hybrid college algebra. F that. We're keeping all science books for the kids. Nothing is valuable. Well, we I don't know. We, we have probably kids. twenty bucks. Okay, so we're done with your box. Straight finally. science. That's yeah, this is this is no more Josh. Yeah. Cigar book was the. Uh, what this is you done. Do when your child gets sick? I want all the Make kids, a new one. All the kids' science books huh? go go into the kids' oh. library. Well, anyway, the question to Leia's answer is, what do you do when your child's sick? Make a new one! Science books we're keeping, so there's that. That's not really economically feasible. Make a new one! Okay, put one. Let's put the take on me, uh... Talking away, I remember what you're saying! All right, hold on. There we go. That's what we want. Say it anyway. What is this, science? No. Why do they all have to be like... There's like one white kid, and the rest of them are like oh, it's a immigrant free babies. It's a first five book. It's free. Uh, yeah. No, it's vodka. I'm not actually that buzzed. I'm just having a good time. Jesus. This is like prospecting in his own home. This This is like... He gets a little high off this. It's lit, guys. It's lit. Oh. Oh? This is a, actually a very special. That's for you. you oh, you get out of here. This is this. this is somebody's like, Jesus. Okay, well, this is getting a little distracting. So, you know what kind of gets me? This is a history book about George Washington, which... This is a Jesus book. So this is a book about George Washington. How much has history changed over time? 
Well, will that be at all valid by the time the kids are learning about George Washington? What? They're going to find out that he was like a rapist or something like that, and they're going to strike him from the history. Yeah, terrorist, terrorist of statues down. What the hell is going on here? Stories Ooh, Julian it. tells. You know yeah, keep I read here. this. I read this. Everybody probably read this one. Keep those. Because... What is an what MST... Is 3K um, colossal episode guide. What do you just... You just watch the episodes and then that's it. I have all the episodes. Go back to sleep on Is he up? He's up? Is he up? He made a sound. Do not make the sound. Somebody said George Washington has slaves. Oh, Jeff said that. Yes, he did. We're going to end up completely rewriting history in order to be politically correct. Ooh, see, that's a nice tagline for a movie right there. The first war was fought over land. The last war will be fought for water. Eh? Isn't that what Water World was about? No. Leia? Mm -hmm. The entire planet was covered with water. Yeah. But wasn't it Why like would we fight over water? Do you, what are you talking about? Because it's salt water, right? Yeah, do you, you can take the salt out of water. Tell that to California. To evaporation? Tell that to California that is like an entire coast of water, but we still have droughts. No, Leia. Mad Max Fury Road is a war for water. Right? Oh, that's true. Yeah. Um, yeah, because you can make a solar still really easily. They, they make inflatable solar stills that are in a lot of the... Uh, Ref, uh, rescue barges turns out the great men and women of the bible not flying off the shelves guys well let's some of the great men that are, are covered yeah 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 or water this for a forgotten book don't keep um, don't keep that atlantis this is about science alaya you want to oh, keep books about science what do you, what do you think this avengers thing is about? comic books are worth nothing they are worth nothing. But it's the first edition. And they're worth nothing. Wait, really? <laughs> no. Well, today we're going to learn about Sarah, Joseph, Miriam, Moses, Ruth, Daniel, Esther, Samuel, Adventure. Hannah, David, Deborah, Elijah, Adventure. Mary, Adventure. Peter, Adventure. Mary Magdalene, and Paul. Whoop. Hmm. Oh, we got uh, Jack 2. This I actually will send to somebody if actually anybody cares about uh, PlayStation games. Yeah, that's because I can't sell video games, so. Oh. Oh, this is legit, like, old school Avengers. That's got the Wasp and Cap and Hawkeye and his old regalia. This is trash. No, I'm not going to keep it, because when do I read comic books? Landmark of California covering book. If it's not trash. about the gold, I don't care. What? California, California legislative, California Senate legislative activity book. The, what? That's where they teach you how to make bathroom drills. That's how they make uh, kids have ADHD. Oh, the domestic church, room by room. I'll throw that away. Hey, Leah, you're a mother. This is four mothers. It says four mothers. Did you say real special mother hose? Oh, do you, do you want a workbook about U.S. presidents? Obama's in this one. Actually. Oh, my God. So that's pretty recent. No, I only want it if it's got Trump in it. What do we got? Did somebody draw that on the, the president's penny? Oh, man. They did not return this to the library. This is like a $30 book right here. Are we going to come up fat right now? Oh, no, no, no. I mean, they From paid... From thievery? No, they paid, like, $30 because they never returned this book. Either that or it's from a library sale. Some guy made a paper sculpture out of, like, $50,000 of comic books by accident. <laughs> uh, so, there is... That's one vending machine right there. We have uh, two placed. And I have one more sticker machine that we think we can get into the dentist's office, which is super cool. We just have to send him Danger Dynamite. This is my kind of story. Oh, the coming-of-age tale of Danger Dynamite. 
Fucking hell, man. I shouldn't probably... That is a serious Bible. There should be like a bullet or a, a gun carved out on the inside here. This is a good This is a good Bible to make a gun safe out of. You know where you glue all the pages together? Oh, it's got illustrations of the Bible. What just came out here? Dear America. Oh, it's in Spanish. This is also for you, Josh. Got a Your new life in Christ. Somebody save me. So you guys, how far are we into this live stream? Uh, uh, we're in fall because like the hour? last one, well over an hour. Because the like, I don't know, is it putting them all together? I hope it is. Uh, yeah, we've been in for an hour, and like we've st we're still sitting at one, two, three, four, five, six, only seven books that are worth money. Yeah. This is not worth our time. So you can imagine what people are doing at like when they're going to scan books. I really hold on hold on so Peter I have been trying to think of what to do with the Gideon Bibles in hotels for a really long time so you burn a DVD of porn and you put it in like the cover that is awesome do you, do you have like an Etsy shop or oh uh, it is SD Samra, and I hope I'm saying that correctly. Yeah, thank you, man. Um, I recently got a really big bump on my ham radio videos. I think it was that uh, why everybody hates the Baofeng videos. So really appreciate you watching it. And if you have any questions, you can send me messages. Don't send me a message on YouTube, though. I don't get them for some reason. It's all screwed up. Send me a message on Facebook or Instagram. Please. Instagram preferred. I'm on Instagram more than anything. A visual... I thought this might be worth something. Visual... Dictionary of Architecture. This is an Ionic pillar. That is a pagoda. That's some Frank Lloyd Wright bullshit. What? We get money? No. <sighs> Voyages, childhood and adolescence. We're not making any money here. Free ones. I didn't even know there was free porn in magazines. Are we? How, what kind of magazines have free porn in it? Oh, you're talking like porn mags. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Sure. I offered to get uh, bearded black man some of those for his. Uh... I got him. Oh, where did it go? I have another book. What is him. witness? What is witness. Witness! Okay, I'm gonna give this to you. I don't, I don't Witness! Hmm? Oh. That looks like a. Uh... Oh, it's a cool. Is this a cooling tower in uh, San Onofre? Short, short fiction and poetry contest. It's a poetry book. Oh my god, there's. We're running I'm out of space. Oh, we got another box. Good. I'm hoping that all of these ones where the labels are covering the barcodes and we haven't sealed them because they're all from La at the Cal State Long Beach. Yeah. I'm hoping that's true, but I don't believe it. I can't believe. Goodbye, Bibble. So sweet, one of my friends, she, um, she was telling me how like the top sellers um, usually buy like truckloads of books yeah we're not like, doing that that's it's like twenty thousand dollars to buy a truckload of uh books i'm assuming you can buy a good goodwill or something yeah oh did you hear goodwill uh chapter 11 i don't even know nonprofits did that i, I don't know that they are but they're yeah they're done goodwill is done so what do they do with their stuff very bad connection sorry guys Yeah, um, the Baofangs just work. They're great. Webster's Dictionary. This is no. Man, yeah, I was, I was really, I was really surprised when I made that Baofang video. How many people didn't realize that I was not actually crapping on the Baofang? I am a big fan of the Baofang, and the people didn't get it. They thought I was making those arguments. I'm like, I'm not making any of these arguments. Why do you think I'm? I'm anti-Baofeng. I am not anti that at all. 
Why would I own all these bow fangs? Look at all these bow fangs. Could I have any more bow fangs? Wait, what's going on here? What are you doing? Are you just searching manually? No, I'm putting the ones that have stickers aside so that they go in. Oh. This was the reject pile. This is the oh, sticker crap. and Isbin pile. Why do you keep saying Isbin? Oh, I just say Isbin. That was an ISDN for some reason. You guys still there? Oh, okay. Yeah, everybody was like, yeah, wh why are you crapping on the bow fan? I'm like, I'm not. People crap on the bow fan. I like the bow fan. And, uh, and, and, <laughs> and then second, why would I make all the videos I've made about the Baofeng or fe having the Baofeng featured in the videos? And they'd be like, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, but don't buy this. It's crap. Come on. But I also don't expect people to actually put in any research when it comes to YouTube video. They're not going to be like, well, I was going to comment. I was going to troll this guy really hard, but I decided to go research his backlog of videos. And I found that unwarranted. Like, that's not going to happen. Yeah, Wotion's really good. Uh, Wotion radios are probably one of the best you can buy from China. There's one in particular that a friend of mine has. It's got a, it's got a really nice uh, big screen, big vertically re rectangular screen. Cliff Notes on Angelou's I Know Why the Cage Bird Sings. Uh, big fan of that radio. That radio will set you back 100, 125 if you can find a good deal on it. That's a very good radio. Is your scanner up yet? I think so. Why? Because I'm kind of tired of scanning this on my phone. Oh, you want to use a scanner here? Oh, maybe not. What's going on with the... Did that... We're still doing the vlogs, man. We are still doing the... Well, we do weekly vlogs now, and they're on our new family channel. The yeah, Swell Family right Vlog. Now. The 3D printer is working. I um, I ended up printing a uh, fan duct. And so I have a new fan duct that, that is blowing f air uh, right onto the print head. And so what that does is after when it puts the PLA oh, down... Oh, I won't let you put links in the comments. Well, anyway, if you type in Swell Family, S-W-E-L-L -L, Family, all one word, that is the weekly vlog. And it's uh, we post once a week. And it is, um, like, they're, they're long, though. They're, they're all, like, 20-minute-plus videos. So it's one week, 20-minute videos. Martha House. And the kids are uh, featured a lot more prominently. And actually, Leia's in them. So that was one of the reasons we split them off. So what's going on with the scanner? Um, I don't know. You try it. Is it... It, I don't know. It depends on your phone. Is it connected? Yeah, Swell Family is actually in the chat. That's Leia sitting right there. I still do most of the editing, although Leia helps, which is nice because um, it gets rid of a lot of crap that I normally put in, which has allowed me, or the goal anyway. Hosh Nazi, I, I still... I found that by doing daily vlogs that I wasn't doing um, I wasn't doing the videos that I really, really like to do, which are the standalone, the ham radio videos, some of the product reviews, the going out and doing things videos that I used to do a lot more of. And the vlog just it, it just it made it so much difficult. Um, it made it so difficult to do all that. And so I was like, okay, we got to cut back. So what, we're, what we do is we do, uh, we do vlogging on the weekend. So we record content on the weekend, and then I edit it together, and then we post the following weekend. So it's, it's, it's kind of up to date, but uh, Peter thinks on Thingiverse. I make, oh, cool. A GoPro camera butt plug. 
That's awesome. Fly headstones. That's okay. Okay. Well, I, I, uh, Peter, thanks. Okay. I'm going to write that down. You have a pen? Oh, I can do it here. I think I'm going to try. Anyway, we're going to try this right now. Do it live. What is this? This is nothing? Done? That's the reject file. Hmm. Behavioral assessment. Okay, am I logged in? No, I'm not logged in. do we have? Um, a goodly amount. Okay, we got it. Did we get it? Did we get it? Okay, we did. Now we're on. Was it Peter Thinks? That's funny. Got it. Okay, we're following you. Excellent. I love it. Okay, Arnold, this is all garbage. Nimrod flip out. He's got a lever action. Oh, nice. Okay. What is this? The body. Mr. Body. The Iowa Rodeo. Encouraging appropriate behavior from children on the autism spectrum. I don't know how to handle that. I don't know how to handle it. Whoa, what's the bookmark here? Is it a bookmark? Oh, yeah. Old North Church Boston bookmark. Bam. We're giving you away. Leia, this is bad. We're not making any money right now. Oh, so you were saying a truckload of books gets you how much? You pay 20 grand? Um, so the couple that was doing... Um, this was like in the top 100 of Amazon booksellers. Mm, okay. And they had even hired people to just scan books. Right, right, right. That's like what Reezy does. He buys books by the truckload and then... No, he has people that work for him, though. Books. He has people that work for him to scan things, yeah. A guide to recognizing your saints. Okay. <laughs> Old North Church blood plug on it. <laughs> yes, please. Yes, please. Um, okay, and 20k? So what you're saying is that... No, finish your story. 20k? Yeah, 20k. In books, gets you how much? A whole truckload. No, like how much money do you make? Oh, who knows? That's all oh, Jesus. Story. I thought that's what you were like... <sighs> I thought that's what we were all waiting on. Ooh, I like this. What is this? BWR. Oh, Black Warrior Review. What is this? Okay, take this. BWR, Black Warrior Review. Oh, good, I need to know this. start peeling the ones that have I don't know man I think we just get rid of all the the chaff okay we have like a lot of uh, boxes so far though we have we're almost done we are? I think so Oh, wait. 
wait, maybe not. No, nope, never mind. Doesn't Just kidding. Like we're anywhere close <sighs> to done. We no, we're not. Got through, like, kids books yet. Okay, kids books are coming. Ah, that one is a tote. Totes. Totes my goats. Okay, I'm gonna go make another beverage. Oh, okay. bear back. You can post your comments, Leia's reading. We do. We really need to go up there. I don't know about the whole selling for 99 cents. Oh, Edison just woke up. Sorry, guys. You're going to have to look at our garage junk by yourselves for a little bit. Okay, here I am. Oh, everybody left. So I don't know if you're still there, uh, Peter. So here's uh, my last print. Didn't come out that great. It's one of those Eclipse cards, but this is Kansas. I got a, a friend who works, or he's, he's going to Kansas for the Eclipse. And so here's his pinhole uh, viewer. This is the path of the the eclipse. He's right there, smack dab in the middle of it. But you can see it kind of warped on the angle right here. And there was some parts that didn't print fully. It was the first crack at it. Yeah, I don't know how well it's gonna work. I only use like 20% infill too, so it's it's pretty opaque. If I get out of the way, you can probably Woo! Look at that. Yeah. Anyway, it's kind of cool because it, it not only gives you the hole to look through, but then it tells you where the capital is, which is a little star. So I think he's in Jackson Hole, which is going to be somewhere around here. Blad out. Anyway, I'm uh, now printing the one for California and some pins that I need to print. I think Edison's making noise. Yeah, I don't know. Um, meh. We'll, we'll, we'll just check it out when it happens. Oh, that's kind of cool. The little Eclipse logo has a, has a line going through it. That's the Eclipse trail across the United States. NASA put the, well, NASA's affiliated with whoever made these cards. There's one for every state, and there's also one of the continental United States. Or go blind, you know, whatever. Um, I'm just gonna like, I think what I'm gonna do, can you use your phone to view? You should be able to, right? You should just be able to hold your phone up to it. I mean, it could damage your phone, but I got those Snapchat spectacles. I could just like hold my, I could just close my eyes and point it out the, the look and then just close it and start spectacling. I might just do that. I think I'll spectacle them. Anyway, that's that. I've started a new print. I'm gonna be right back. One second.
Oh, and the back. Peter is in Canada. Um, so the printer, what printer do you have, Peter? Because then maybe you might be able to help me out because I've got a, uh, a RepRap printer, like a Prusa. It's a Prusa clone by RepRap Guru. I uh, got it on Amazon Prime Day. It's an acrylic backed printer, which is not great. I might have to like a magnifying, oh, a magnifying glass like that you don't look through and you point to the ground, sure, yeah. Or, you know, you just hold the magnifying glass right in front of your eye and you just look right in the sun. That'd be good. That'd solve a lot of uh, the world's problems. Canada is such a goddamn big place, and you've got, like, four states. <laughs> or four, sorry, provinces. So here, let me show you my uh, list of things that I want to build. What the hell? Where's my collections? Show me my collections, dog. All right, here's some. Here's my collections. So I built this um, double fan setup for my printer. No, what are you doing? Oh, because I got my finger on it. Sorry about that. Double fan. Uh, need a key for, you know, uh, what do they call those? Handcuffs. These are the double fans that I've got set up on my extruder bed. So those little funnels are for 40 millimeter fans. I want to make the belt drive or the, the cable belt for the printer. That's one of them. I built that it's for the filament. I want this guy. This is like a slide arm for doing um, video photography. For you can do, like a you can do like a roller. It's a roller rig. And I want to build this. I want to build this stupid adjustable wrench. I want to print that thing. So it's a check this out, guys. For those that are not, um, I know, and you guys got like a thousand times amount of land per person. Um, so. You got a 3D printer, right? 3D printers print. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, of course. Yeah, I just, I'm not going to talk about that. That's all I do is I print those basically. Just make AR lowers. Um, so 3D printers print back and forth, making layers, burr, 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 and they go up and down, right? Until they get to the point that it's, it's, there's an X, Y, and a Z axis, and they just print back and forth until you get this whole thing. So you can print a crescent wrench, including the gear drive all in one shot. It will print the entire rig. You can print everything, all in one thing, not in pieces. You don't have to assemble it, whatever. You just print the whole damn thing out and you pick it up and then you just like crack the, the gear loose. It breaks off of the support and then you're good. You got a wholly, a, a functioning, <laughs> not very powerful wrench, but a wrench nonetheless. So I'm gonna make that just for the, yeah, print in place. Just, just amazing, that concept, just amazing. The tolerances are, shit right they have to be shit because you're you're literally taking like a hot glue gun right of plastic and you're you're extruding to make a design and then you make a wrench you make a freaking wrench it's awesome leia made herself a sandwich would you make the what meat did you use no meat yeah there's um ham and uh turkey let me see show the camera sandwich cam let me show you the Here's what the sandwich maker made. That's a lot of tomato. You like tomato though. There you go. I don't like that. I just wanted to put it oh, on the camera. Take a bite. I don't want it. Yeah. I don't want it. Just eat the damn thing. I know if there's no man to eat the sandwich, how can you be a sandwich maker? Right? It's like if a tree falls and there's no one around to hear it. Did it truly happen or did it truly exist? Let's see who's gonna make you sandwiches from now on. I'm not really eating bread that much, so it's okay. I guess I could live. Wrong answer. Wrong answer. <laughs> so let me talk about the trials and tribulations of FBA. So we were at Walmart. Came upon this Black & Decker charger. Got super excited because we took our little fancy apps, scanned the, the UPC, 
Are we really here? I have no idea. Say where's mine? Sweet invite. I have no idea what's going on in the chat right now. Anyway, I ended up, we bought like two or three of these. Got them home. This is like $7, $8 on clearance, and it was listed for like $40 when we scanned it. Turns out that what happens a lot with Amazon is there will be like the same product listed three or four different ways. Oh, on the sandwich. Um, say, where's mine? Yeah. Where, what's Are We Really Here, Jeff? What does that mean? Oh, pumpkin carving. Just in time for the season. You're telling me this didn't have any value? Baby dimples. Oh, Jesus. Okay, this is all hot garbage. See, this is what happens. You start you start doing these you start doing these videos and you start out all enthusiastic, like, I'm gonna show you all these stupid books we found. And then you like I just I, I, I just wanna stop seeing books. I wanna Private Eyes View. I just got into an argument with a woman today on the internet about abstract thought. So where was my box that I was? You know what? It doesn't matter. So there was this post that there's this uh, there's this Facebook group that I'm a member of called Weirdly Specific But Okay, and it's like very weirdly specific things that people talk about in this book. What is this? The pi private eyes view. The boxcars for shipment to slaughter. He would be taken off at the last moment to go back and lead another load up. It was a never-ending job for him, but at least he remained alive. Okay. So... That's somebody's self-published book. Uh, anyway. So, on this uh, Facebook group, they posted a link to a product, which is a, a little disc with a kind of a soft membrane in the middle. And it's for women to stick up their hoo-ha when they're on their period. And the company had a tagline video. One of those cool like, oh my god, I'm going to buy four. Uh, something like that. I'm going to buy four. Imagine the blah, blah, blah. Like, you know, stupid infographic videos where it makes it sound like, oh my god, how did we live before this ever existed type of thing. And they kept claiming, mess free, mess free, mess free. And I, p I posted, I'm like, mess free lol have fun fishing that thing out and i got like a ton of likes but then i got all these women like stop mansplaining you don't have a vagina you don't know what you know the blah 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 like how would you know i'm like one one the products that exist on the market have extraction mechanisms two this thing what two this thing you gotta shove up your hoo-ha and it's claiming that it's mess free and i was like you can get right out of here. And so I got all these women screaming at me. And then a couple of like super crunchy hippie ladies hopped on and they're like, this guy knows what's up. You all don't know. You've never used this thing. I use it all the time. And guess what? It's messy. And I'm like, brava, brava. My got a diva cup stuck up her hoo-ha. Yep. To go yeah, to the in the end, you're still retarded. Yeah, no, but see, this is the important thing. I was trying to explain to these, I was trying to mansplain to these women that the concept of, of abstract thought is that like objects have permanence. We understand the uh, situation and the basic doldrums of the things that everybody goes through without ever actually living them. That's how, that's what object permanence is in abstract thought. It's the ability to have an opinion on something and understand how something works without actually going through it. And no disrespect to women, but I'm not pretending like having a period is a complex like thing that goes down. So I understand the logistics of having a period. Never experienced it. Not going to pretend like I understand the pain or the discomfort or anything like that. But, but I think I can comment on like the collection thereof and all of that anyway i did not expect the uh the the live stream to go that way what's this what am i doing with this why don't you have the 12 people watching decide whether or not we keep that why for the kids there's a lot how okay all right so this book <laughs> this book is called world history this book is this thick. 
how much of the world, how much of this world is white? I bet you there's a lot of white people in here. <laughs> hold on, hold on, just put it down, what do you want? Oh, oh, it's kind of like an infographic book. Okay. Oh, it's, it's a question and answer book. Eh. Oh, um, so, oh, dude, that was funny. That was good, Philip. Oh, my God. Oh, Peter, book. sorry, Peter. Um, Shark Week. Shark Week, huh? Yeah, that's the that's the code. That's yeah. the code. And the Red Wings, getting your Red Wings. You guys will like that. It's a hockey reference. Um, <laughs> what's that video that I made you watch? What's that? Uh, the video of the history of the the universe or the history of everything? Was that what it was? Okay. So I don't want you to leave the I don't want you to leave the live chat. But just jot down a message. Go watch the history of everything video. It is. Hilarious. All right, what do we got here? Are these uh, checkers and keepers? So wait, what, what did everybody say? Do we keep it? No, we're throwing that out. Oh, it's gourmand. What is going on? Are these all labeled with... Oh, these are all neatly searched. Box go of all the crazy. Oh, it's over here. Okay. Jesus. Really? Damn. Yeah, it's on YouTube. What bit? What's on YouTube? The history of everything. Yeah, the history of everything. Possibly oh one of the funniest videos I've seen this in a long time. This is a time. cookbook that is dedicated to using Campbell's products. Ew. There's a lot of pasta on that. Yeah, there is. Are we... We're not keeping this, right? Did you scan it? Yeah, I scan it. Oh my god. Cookbooks are the best. Dude, that's a big-ass shark. That's a no. That's a no. Does anybody want these cookbooks? Anybody? Who likes to cook? You want to cook? Let's go back. Let's see what the effects are again. Oh, there's a glamour. Oh, it's a glamorous. Ooh. Eight millimeter. Look at that. Documentary. Oh, that's kind of cool. Sepia. I hate sepia. Haunting. Ooh. It's like a demon. It's like a demon. Reject. Reject. Reject Satan. Reject Satan. What's this? He's cooking for Satan. A lot of these cookbooks are from the same year. Hmm? Like somebody decided that they were going to learn how to cook one year and then gave up. Shock ate me! Deep Blue Sea! That was a good movie! Huh? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. What's it from? Samuel L. Jackson. What? But from what specifically? He didn't say that. From um, David Chappelle's show. Yes. What and what? What? What, what skit? It's the the Samuel Jackson beer. Yes, it is. That's right. Oh, well, there's a cocktail. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I do. Want? I have some white right there. Do you want this? And oh. I'm getting some grays though. Seriously, I've got like grays right here. Shortcut cooking for the holidays. This is where you totally disappoint your family. Yeah. <laughs> How to really, really shortcut the cut the holidays. There are a lot of crappy uh, recipes in here. This is a diabetic snack. No wonder there's something wrong with it. Super retarded dog. That's Man. the name of a video. Hello. They're what? Calling Potato skins, a diabetic snack. That is literally just sugar. That will kill you. What the fuck? When is this coming? Oh, dude, this, okay. This diabetic snacks. These are all potatoes. With syrup. When was this made? And this diabetic recipe is a lemon cream. They're just trying to kill diabetic people. This is all car. Look at this. Look at these. Okay, <laughs> this is messed up, man. Whoever made this wants to kill diabetics. Yeah, do you look They're trying the to purge the diabetics. Little... We don't want them breeding. 
with their sugar hating lives. What? Oh my god, I kind of want to. Everyday diabetic recipes, diabetic desserts. Would it be so weird if I kept this? What? It's the Good Cooks book from First Baptist in Howard and Iowa from 1885 to 1985. It's literally somebody who moved from Iowa kept this cookbook from their church. Should I just like randomly make recipes? Oh, recipes this is and look at the, the names of the pra the practitioners and their recipes are in here, Leah. Meats, casserole, vegetables. Dude, you I, should at least go through this and, and this look at it. This is a family recipe book. Yeah, you should. Yeah, I'm keeping this. Okay, you keep those. Look, recipes of remembrances. You think no, that's all right. It's got a Model T on it. It's, it's okay. That's not a Model T. That's a horse-drawn carriage. Is it really? It's a horse. Oh, okay, a Model T. Oatmeal cake. Fanny Farmer cookbook is the best, says yes. Peter. Yes. You are correct, as America's Test Kitchen will confirm. Did you watch the special about... Lay it just went like this. <laughs> that special was so Did good. Did you watch the special? It was about making sandwiches. Sandwiches. It wasn't. It was about recreating sandwiches. Lutheran's last meal. Oh, my gosh. Lutheran. I'm, I'm making all these church recipes. You're going to get to Jesus through food. <laughs> Gonna give you the Jesus the old fashioned way. Oh my god, this is amazing. So this video is going on so long. We're almost two hours in. Depression cake? Depression? What? <laughs> you eat it, it makes you so sad. Oh, there you go. Yeah, Leia is quite the uh, amazing barbecue pizza master. I am. She would make dough uh, the day before or the day day before we would go camping. You have to. And we we so it the slow rise. That slow the rise. That slow flavor. rise. And then she would take it and she would you know kind of hand throw it, throw it on the grill, flip it one time, got a little bit of crust on it, and then you hit it with all the toppings, and then you know let it let it go back on there for a little bit. Thanks for giving everybody my recipe. A hole. I didn't give anybody any recipe. <laughs> I explained how you did it. Desserts for G what? <laughs> I want you to get them eighty desserts, those desserts from the eighties, and get it the hell out of here. Recipes prepared by professional home economists who teach nutrition and life schools in California schools. Are you upsetting? Upsetting? Oh yeah, pierogies. <laughs> you're the you're a funny guy. <laughs> you're a funny guy. The the problem, the worst part about this is like you have to take notes on all the live streams like immediately because um it doesn't save all the comments. Like all this banter that we're having back and forth, like once the the stream is over, there it's gone. Like the comments when you go look at this video when it posts, if you look at this video when it posts um on my channel, there will be none of these comments, which is just so frustrating. It bums me out so much. Yeah, this is done. Oh, the cocktails book. Let's see if the Negroni's in here. The Negroni, one of the best cocktails that you can buy. I don't care. We should send this to our uh, friends at the Velveteen, um, the Velveteen Kitchen. What is this? What in the? Velveteen Lounge Kitchen. Oh my God! Just throw this in the trash, please. What is it? Seeds? No, it's recipes. Somebody cut out recipes and then put them in a Ziploc bag. I think I have used this book to try to make a Pousse Cafe before. That's not our book. No, I know, but Phil had this book. We ditched high school one day, and his dad had, had like oh, a this huge. Probably worth something. His dad had a huge, like, just huge. Bacon. Bacon puppets. puppets. That sounds amazing. I, this guy. Um, You've never had a Negroni? Not many people have had a Negroni, Leia. That's not a common drink. Well, we are going to go to Paso Robles and get... You give us wine, <laughs> we will give you hard alcohol. <laughs> that seems... Nope. I guess it depends on how good your wine is. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no! Uh, a... Recipes. 
A Negroni. A Negroni is gin, Campari, oh and vermouth. Many people have had it and did not like it. <laughs> many. Many. Like, if you're like, Sazerac never touched her, um, you would be like, no, thank you, Negroni. There's a bunch of boards. Oh, there's a little... Quesadilla maker? <laughs> bunch of manuals? Yeah, it, it, it does have a, a, poorly, a poorly named cocktail, but... So yeah, the uh, these are all trash. We're trashing a lot. These are like the stuff my mom buys. Yep. So the Negroni. If you ever make a Negroni, oh, we lost, losing connection. People still there? You still see me? Um, the Negroni because it's it's gin. So Campari is we are alcohol capital of California. We make beer, wine, and now hard liquor and soon <laughs> pot tours. Yep. Um, uh, I'm conflicted about these quick and easy country cooking magazines. So Hendrix is possibly one of the best gins that you can get on the market right now. And if you're going to make a Negroni, do not get Hendrix. Hendrix is, uh, it's, it's, it's almost too good. It's too well balanced, a little on the mellow side. You need to have like a really strong London gin. And so I generally have a Tanqueray. Um, Tanqueray with Campari and a little bit of vermouth, and that is a Negroni. And bitters, and you gotta have bitters. Of course, why would you not? Seagram's gin is not the best. <laughs> that is not true. You, you should try Hendrix. If you, if, you really, if you like gin, if you have any kind of like capacity to drink gin, you should really try Hendrix. Hendrix is really good. Well, if, if I based everything on what Snoop Dogg did, I would lead a very different life. What? Did we make These some money? Are actually worth something on eBay. What? Those cookbooks? The quick and easy cookbooks. Okay. Vintage cookbooks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, full bush cookbooks. I, I wouldn't even put them as middle of the road. They're like Smirnoff level. If you were to equate gin to vodka, um, that is like below median this is amazing i feel like i hit the jackpot so i i if you do like gin please go try hendrix H hendrix is some of the best commercially available gin you can get oh, i'm not lying i would not steer you wrong when it comes to booze wow seriously all those yeah. do we just come up um so yeah huh yeah here, here's the really interesting thing about Crown Royal. So this is good for you Canadian people too. So um, C Canada has a uh, whiskey and rye competition. And the 2016 best rye was the Crown Royal rye that came out the same year. The, if you can find it, it has a green label. Don't confuse it with the apple. The Crown Royal apple is garbage. The Crown Royal rye is really really good like really good amazingly good for the price um you would yeah dude it's such a good deal it's such a good deal um and it's and and if hey no 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 maple no maple just it's just a rye there, there is a maple i'm sure there's a canadian maple liqueur Will that's you crown royal but with the books to keep? um yeah hey would you guys watch the show where somebody cooked the Recipes in a magazine, and then ate it. Of course. <laughs> so like, you know what'd be funny is if you you spent like all the time. No, now. like if you it, like the um, how to easy, right? Like how to easy. Like you did the you did it like super pomp, like really really nice. You made an amazing plating. You cooked the whole thing, and then nobody ate even any of it, and you threw it over the wall in the backyard. Just throw it away. That makes me so sad. I know, but that would be funny. Look at this pheasant with sauerkraut. It, it actually is just pheasant with sauerkraut. You like fry the pheasant and then you mix the sauerkraut into the dressing. <laughs> Wait, you make... What? 
you take the pheasant. Yeah. Yeah. You, and you fry good. it in shortening. Okay. My, yeah, Until so brown. far. Yeah. You pour off the shortening and then you add a can of sauerkraut, water, salt, and pepper. Okay. And? And then you simmer or bake. And the recommendation is to use an electric frying pan. Oh, it's going to burn down the goddamn the kitchen? May require more water. It's oddly specific. It's like just a, a gallon of it to have on hand in case you burn your fucking kitchen down. There is really some amazing stuff in a Fanny Farmer cookbook. Well, does Fanny Farmer do like cowboy Dutch oven cooking? Is that in there? No. Okay, so Fanny Farmer is like the original celebrity chef. She was like from the, correct me if I'm wrong here, Peter, but like. This was the, like six months before Sandra Lee came out, right? <laughs> like, I want to say either like the 1500s? Oh, this is like uh, uh, that sh that channel we watch, uh, Jay Boswell, or the um, what? No, no not no. the fifteen hundreds. The eighteen uh, hundreds. They were they were using wood burning stoves already. Uh, uh, James Townsend and Son. Um, so Peter, there's a YouTube channel called James Townsend and Son. Because I'm gonna cook. It. You'll like it if you like old timey cooking. They only use old timey like colonial methods of cooking. Very cool. Very very cool. We don't do any of that, but it's cool. Corn burritos. I've had tamales, which is ma like ground maize. Um, Ground up corn, corn. Why do I feel like this is a dirty joke? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a baking instrument in there. It's a. That's pasta, pasta and a, it's a bench scraper as well. As well. Latino recipe. It was a uh, Royal Northern Harvest Rye that won the competition. Yeah. Yeah, and it's uh, you can buy it. It's not too expensive. It's very good. So, um, the editor-in-chief of America's Test Kitchen, he bought this old home and restored it, including the wood-burning oven, mm -hmm. and then he made his staff cook the multi-course final Fanny Farmer meal. <laughs> they spent a whole year recreating those recipes, and then they had to do it in succession. So, he threw a dinner party for a massive group of people. I like it. And then left it. I like torturing people. Like, I like the the concept of torturing a staff. I don't think I could do that, but I, I, I like know, the you idea. Don't, you don't do that with your uh, own employees. Why would you? No, but I, I like the idea. There's a certain, like, I don't know, manhandling that goes into that. I got to use the restroom. Leia's on the chat duty, so just ask her questions. I'll be right back. And if he's not right back, you know what he's doing. So, there's that. Ventura's California thing? Is that corn burritos are a big deal in Ventura, Jeff? Because we do go to Ventura. We go over um, to the Jolly Oyster right on the beach. That's one of our favorite things. Okay, tell me about this. 3 a.m. Hi, that's okay. Okay, now I'm going to look up corn burritos and a 3 a.m. Hi, as a okay egg salad. Okay. Corn burritos, Ventura. Oh. That actually sounds good. It's a small rolled up corn to tortilla filled with refried beans and then deep fried and topped with hot sauce and cheese. So it's like a vegetarian um, taquito. Did you finish up all the a books corn? while I was gone? Yeah. You finished them all up while I'm gone? All the books, you're done? At everything? Yeah, that sounds good, Jeff. They, oh, um, so I have to be, so Leia and I are, um, 
we really like hot sauce. Like, like so much. Insane. Are you ready for more? Here, give me that tote. Here. Are you keeping those things? Totes, no. Okay. What is that? That's more of the pans that we're sending. Those, that, that, like, squished out box? Yeah. Yeah, okay, I got a pink tote now. Okay, so Leia's on, um... Do you think these bags Holy guys crap! Are, are these more bags? We haven't gone through these! Yeah, no. Do we have so many? At least we get to do it from home instead of standing in a Goodwill. What are these? No? Oh, no. I've got to look them up. The techniques for the elite angler. Okay. Homer's Odyssey. Homer. No, that's... It's not Homer's Odyssey. It's Odysseus's Odyssey. Homer was the writer of the Iliad. All the stories of the Iliad belong to Homer. The Odyssey is one such story. What grade is this for? It just says science one. Student science! Grade. It says science. This is a science book. Okay, well I'm keeping these then. Are you ready for science? My bitches. Language art? Wow, these are My bitches. Books. Somebody's having a lot of fun with their cars outside my house right now. Uh, you have to fish if you're a prepper. Yeah, no, I've, I fish. <laughs> I, I fish, my, my man. Are we keeping these? Yeah. Oh, okay. Definitely do a lot of fishing. Oh, my gosh, finally. Finally, I can fix the... Okay, here we go. Come on. What are you looking at? I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what's wrong with this thing. I'm trying to, like, fix my... didn't like it. God damn it. The Complete Adventures of the Borrowers. I don't know what's going on. <sighs> Junior Ranger. Hardy Boys. Oh, yeah, there's some cool books in there. Why is this not working? Dude, sadly, it's Smirnoff. Uh, normally, I drink Tito's. Tito's is my for my preferred vodka. Do we keep the Hardy Boys for the kids? Um, maybe. I had some Hardy Boys books growing up. Are there a lot of them? Yeah, just put those on the side. Oh, that's a good one. Look at that one. Oh, Jesus. It's a good book. What else is this one? I don't know what the complete... This is dead again. We have a company here called Refined. I used to drink Blue Label in high school. You drank Blue Label in high school? Wow. So, <laughs> okay, so one, no no offense to Blue Label, but I, I generally drink single malt scotch, but I didn't start getting, like, interested in scotch until I got, like, much older. And yes, I mentioned cars. Go ahead. The Dolphin Diaries. It's about dolphins, but they got diaries. How does the paper stay useful in the water? I don't know. Does it sound familiar to you? No. I don't know anything about that. 
Dragon Slayer. Well, red is a nine year. So red year red is a nine year mixed scotch. So it's always going to be strong. Um, it's always going to be bitey. Bitey is the best. The it's best example. It's really? made to mix. Yeah, it's great with ginger ale. It's uh, great with ginger ale. Probably w that, like the Dragon Slayers Academy. Penguins. No more penguins. Bye, penguins. Um, oh, I need my pink coat. My totes, my goats right here. Uh, Mr. Revere and I. No? Wait, you don't want that? Okay, cool. Cassie Binninger. A house divided. Is it just marshmallows? Is it a bunch of marshmallows? Yeah, ask me anything about cars. Ask me anything. Eat, drink, and be merry. Be Murray. Bill Murray. Yeah, we went to that tasting. Like, yeah, we did the Johnny, Johnny Walker, Walker tasting where you got to try uh, red label, black label, green. green, gold. And green was back when they still had, the, quote unquote, the single malt uh, blend. Um, gold and then blue. This pile here is cute for the kids. Yeah, I think we're just going to leave that there right now. The, the keep pile is already full. Uh, Honda S2000. Dude, I saw one today and I... Best car I ever owned is a Honda S2000. That's the, car that broke your heart. the car that I spent the most time working on in a in a good way because I re, um, I did a restoration on it was a 1967 uh, Mustang, but it was just a standard model, so it was a 280 with a two barrel carb. No no big deal. Um, I now if you're talking about the future, the the car that I really really want to get is a uh, 1971 or 1972 Datsun 510. Uh, the Datsun 510 is an amazing car because the engine mounts and the engine compartment, you can pretty much bolt up just about anything you want to it. You can put um, Nissan Skyline motors into it. You can put Honda S2000 motors into it. You can buy um, rotary winkles will bolt in. So you got just the world is your oyster. You can do pretty much whatever you want. A 63 Ford Galaxy. They're so big, though. They're such a big car. Did, um, didn't the Galaxy have a model with a 391 in it? Or was it a 391? 390, 390 was the Ford? My favorite car in future is, is a, yeah, six, yeah, that's no joke. 390, yeah. My favorite car in future is a 66 Cobra. Uh, yeah. Yeah. 391 truck engine. Yeah, that's what I thought. So I, I thought it was the 391. And it needs it because that thing is a friggin' beast, man. The far north. The far north. That's nice. A Lincoln. Lincoln. Um, is it a Continental? You talking about the old Continental? Early Thunder. Uh-oh. My name is not Angelica. Oh, snap. We got uh, some animes right here. This is the first anime book, or manga, technically manga. Oh, snap. Oh, he went back to sleep last time. I He's to not going back to sleep, this one. All right. The Secret of the Indian. This is actually a good. This is a. This is a good book. No wait, I think it is. Is this the one where he's? No, that's just the Indian in the cupboard. Never mind. I don't know anything about this. Uh, the Blind Colt. Great little house. This is some. This is some stuff that like the girls would read in you know, in school. The Blind Colt. It's the story. Oh, look at this wolves in the background, and the wolves are going to eat the blind coat, and that's a real shame. Whatever. Fine. Turn it into glue. Okay, so, uh, product placement. We're, in, <laughs> we're 104 minutes in with this segment. I think the last segment was almost an hour. Uh, shout out to LaCroix. LaCroix is carbonated soda water with the essence of flavor. There's no sugar, it's just the essence. Beauty.
really good with um, a bit of vodka. You don't need a lot. Because normally, uh, yeah. He's blind! Bang! Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the only thing worse is if he was lame. Yeah, that's the uh, Continental. The Lincoln Continental has the suicide doors in the back. Uh, featured in uh, the Green Hornet, which was the Black Beauty, and the the Mod Squad. There you go. Yeah, Dotson 510. Seriously a big fan of the Dotsons. No, seriously a big fan of the Dotson 510. I really want a Dotson 510 because you can do so much to them. The, they bolt up to just about everything. You can put Subaru, a lot of people use the Subaru rear ends. Yeah, Suicide Lincoln. They're big, though. Like, most people aren't hanging out of the... Uh-oh. Charlotte, why are you crying? Charlotte? That's my dog. Let's see. We'll go mobile. We're going mobile. What? What's wrong? Hello. You wanna go potty? Okay, let's go potty. Come on. Come on. Hey, come on. You wanna go potty? Come on. Let's go. Okay, go potty. Alright. Well, what time have we got here? We didn't get through the books. Okay, we didn't get through all the books. I don't know where Leia is at right now. What? Okay. I'm thinking about cutting it here, guys. I'm losing steam. Um, yeah, it was good talking to you guys. I think we're gonna cut it at like over two hours. Um, very good talking to you. We'll we'll, we'll do something. I actually have a a video idea. I gotta I've got to do my MCOM video. I'm like losing it. I'm losing it um, on my MCOM video. I need to I need to finish that thing up. Anyway, yeah, we'll we'll talk in the future. I'm gonna head out. Take it easy. Gotta go check out my printer. Got more prints going. So all right, see ya. Had a lot of fun today. Uh, Peter, new best friend. Peter, thanks. All you guys. A lot of you guys are are been around for a while. I'm glad you came in and hung out with me. Um, Pierogi's Instructables. Pierogi's Instructables. Okay, I'm ending this because i got to use my phone to do that, so I'm going to do that right now. Okay, thanks, guys. Take it easy. See ya.